Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So I had a message on Instagram from a lovely lady called Tammy. She's on YouTube known as Ice Angel and asked if I would take part in answering some questions on our beloved Hannah Carlson and just to show her some support right now. So I of course said yes I would. This might be a bit of a jumbly um, video for you because there's 10 questions I need to answer and um, I don't know it might be easier for me to answer some first than others so we'll see I will link Ice Angel's channel down below um, and of course the hashtag support Hannah Carlson so okay so the first question is how long after you started colouring did you buy your first Hannah books well I think it must have been pretty soon into my colouring journey because I hadn't long been colouring when I started YouTube um, and obviously Hannah Carlson's massive and was all over YouTube and I'd spent a long time watching um, videos of people and watching them colour in it. So I'm thinking it was probably within months of me starting colouring and following ColourTube on YouTube. Okay, number two says, what was your first Hannah Carlson book and why did you choose that one? Um, okay, so my first Hannah Carlson book, I think, was this one. It, I could be wrong, but the reason I say that is because if I find the pictures that I've coloured in, they are dated. If I can just... They are dated. I don't know about that one. I think that might, be, might have been a slightly newer one. There are more in here, folks. They are dated, um, this was done on the 20th of January 20, so this would have been early on into my um, colouring journey because I started YouTube two years, I will have been doing it two years in March, so this would have been quite early on I think, so I could be wrong, but I think this is probably the earliest book. I'm sure I've got more than that in here, surely. You know, you think you've done loads, don't you? And then when it comes to it... I think my favourite... Uh, well, I'll answer that in a bit. So, so I've done that one in here. Which is an old... Well, I don't think it's that new, but I'm still quite pleased with how she came out. Um, I know this is an older one. Like I say, this is um, because I follow Julie's passion for colouring. And I loved it, fell in love with it. I'm sure I did for that, that one. My gosh, that's terrible. I need to get back to daydreams. <laughs> okay. So I think this was my first one. The last one that I brought would be her newest one, which was... Um, this one, Tales from the Witch's Cottage, which is this book. And I don't think I've done anything yet in it. I was waiting for it to, um, it's a beautiful, beautiful book. I love it. Actually, might leave it out and do one this month. It's an absolutely gorgeous book. Really, really lovely illustrations in it. So that would have been the last book that I brought. Um, and that, let me just put that back, otherwise there will be carnage. Carnage, I tell you people in my office. Okay. Um, how many books of hers do you own? Well, I'll count them up because I have duplicates. <laughs> and that is because when I started my colouring journey, <coughs> excuse me, um, I messed books up so, um, and I was pretty obsessed with having perfect books. So, so including this one, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, I have 14 of her books. Yes, I do. Would you be able to place all of her books in order from your favourite to your least favourite books? Well, no. I wouldn't because I can give you my favourite and my favourite is Seasons. I have two of these because I fluffed up. This could well be... No, this is, a, this is my favourite book and I'll show you the images in it. So we did this one as a colour along, and I love the colour 
combination in this one. Um, there's obviously another one here. This one I did with Derwent uh, drawing pencils. Also love the colour combination in this one. I couldn't tell you when they were done, folks. My apologies. But this is my favourite book. I don't know why. But that may be changing. I did this double page, which was a long time ago, and yeah, I'm not overly happy. That was Derwent Artists, Derwent Watercolours and Jelly Roll Pen. I did that with. And then the background looks like it was either inks or those crayons. I would do it very differently again now. Um, let's have a look. Oh, I did the rose. And I love the colour combination we used at the beginning, so I did that rose. That was with luminance and some prismas. Obviously some glitter. Got to have a bit of glitter. And of course the paper in these books are just magnificent, so you can use whatever you, you like, really. Um, and we did this as a colour along. And um, this was quite early on. This would have been last Christmas, I think. Yeah, it would have been last Christmas. Not this last one, gone the one before. And I messed up the background magnificently. So my lovely husband brought me another copy because we were halfway through. a. Um, I'd done part one, I think, of the video. And I was like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I've messed the background up. So this was done with chalks, I think, to be safe. But that's got all sorts on it. I can't remember what pencils we used. Um, but it did have glitter gel pen. I don't know if it's still got that sparkle. It does, yeah. Glitter gel pen. Um, I don't see stickles. Maybe I didn't have any stickles then. Now I'm stickle, stipple, stickle happy, folks. Stickle happy. So this would be my favourite. Then I would have to say, closely followed by um, Magical Dawn. Now... Magical Dawn, um, I've been following Zucchini Kitty, who colours in the same colours in each of her books. But Magical Dawn, I fluffed up a page magnificently. So when um, the support Hannah Castle came up, I thought, well, I'm buying it. I'm buying another one. So this is a recent purchase, and I've just coloured this page, and I did this for Hannah. I haven't posted it on Instagram yet. Um, but I did this page with... Um, uh, Rebecca over at the Art Spirits on Etsy, um, her paint for the silver, I used, I think I used Prismas, I put some little die cuts on it just to jazz it up, so some little dragonflies and some little butterflies, and then I used Arteza paint, got hair there, excuse that, <laughs> then I used some Arteza paint to splatter in the background, um, and some glossy accents over my gem in the centre. So the reason I'm showing you this now, so there's, that's all that's in this book because it's brand new and the other one had, what I'd done was this double page and messed it up. I have since cut it out. <laughs> so I've now got a practice book and then a, a proper book. So this, the reason I'm showing you this is because I've neglected it for such a long time but I think this will become my favourite because it's beautiful. And because I haven't looked at every single picture going in it. So, yeah. So I think that... I'll leave that open so you've got something to look at rather than me just rambling. Um, and I don't have a least favourite. I love them all. Um, I really like the new series books, which are much smaller. Um, and I've got all three of those. So I've got Tales from the Forest Kingdom. I've got... Tales from the Witch's Cottage, which I've just shown you, and Midnight Masquerade, which I've only done... Oh, I've done two, I think, in here, and I'll show you while I've got them out. So I did this lady quite early on, and I wanted her to look sort of like a 1950s showgirl. And, um... Oh, yeah, so that was in 20. It says the 12th of the 5th, 20. So, um still quite pleased with her. I hated her to start with, but then I think the background, I wanted a sort of blurry look, like it was really busy behind her, you know, like a, well, a show good show girl would be. So I did that one. 
And then I did um, the half of this page. So I did her as the nighttime one, and I'm going to do her daytime one. She's got glitter gel pen. I couldn't tell you without looking up what pencils I used. But yeah, so I adore them, and I like the, the fact that they're slightly smaller. The paper is smoother than the original. I don't know, maybe it isn't. But it's bright white, whereas the original was cream, more of a creamy tone. So, and I love them all. There, I don't have, other than my two favourites, those two I've just shown you, I don't, I couldn't put them in order. Um, will you buy all her, her future books? Yes, everyone that's going. Um, and because we left, um, we're not no longer in the EU, I can't order from Booker's Books, they won't deliver to me. So I have to wait for the new one that's coming up to come on um, Book Depository. But I keep checking and as soon as that comes up, I will be ordering it. What picture of hers did you colour first and why did you choose that one? Well, I've shown you that, I think, haven't I? Which would be, um, I think, it's got to be one out of here. And I think it is, as we've said, I want to do that kettle one. I think it's probably this one or... No, it won't have been that one. So it's probably that one. Maybe. I don't know. Let me have a look. Let's get the other ones out and have a look. Okay. So, let's see. So I've got Magical Dawn. That one's the spare. Let's have a look at Jewelry Box. We'll have a look at Jewelry Box. I'm shamefully, woefully behind in these colouring books. This was an early one, and I loved how I'd done the house and the bees. This was a very early one. Yeah, this was the fourth. So it would have been around um, 2020 when I brought these books. But I hated the background that I'd put in. That was some kind of water. It probably was Neo's, but I hated the background. It's got a bit of shimmer on there, look. Um, on, her, on the wings, I think that would have been the, um, what do you call it? Deco Art Holographic Acrylic Paint. There, so I've done that one. Let's have a look. I've done her not overly keen on that one. Um, Doe went pastel, that's why it's so pale. Doe went pastel pencils. And Posca. And Jelly Roll. But I like the headdress, but she's so pale. And I do skin so differently now. Have I dated her? No. But skin, yeah, her skin... Mm. I like it, but just not. So that's daydreams. Then we've got no, sorry, that was jewelry box. Then we've got spirit animals, and that would lead us on to this. Will lead us on to flops. Um, yeah, so this is spirit animals. One of the questions is: Do you colour Hannah Carson every month? I can't say I colour it religiously every month, but I. They are books that I go back to all the time. Um, and which types of illustrations do you prefer? Okay, so let's have a look at what we've done. So, did this one. This was in 2020 again because I loved her smile. So, I tried to bring those colours over so it stayed as a sort of unified page. Again, skin would be very different. And I'm assuming by the sheen on her that this would have been Prismas. I don't think I had many other pencils then. I had a small set of Polychromos but hated Polychromos at the time. So I think this would have been Prismas. So I would have done that. I know I was Hannah, Hannah crazy when I got the books. But can you imagine how long that one took? They're all beautiful books. Now, if I come across any flops, I will let you know. But usually, as you know me, I will have replaced the book if um, I wasn't happy with it. Summer Nights. There's probably flops in here. Um, okay, let's have a look. Oh, there are some. Okay, Summer Nights. 
um, done this one it's quite cute this was in 2020 again gosh that was two years ago nearly nearly two years ago Good grief yeah so that was that one and then oh the beehive page I did my my bees page and this was done with black widows because I've written it next to the page I really like that I really like how that came out so there's glitter gel pen in between the little honeycombs and yeah black widows good old black widows eh and then this one have I dated it no this is pastel pencils pastel pencils I can tell Mm. yeah I like it but you just it misses that sheen doesn't it that you get when you you finish a page with pencils so that was pastel pencils and I think that's probably all there is in here oh no flop I don't like this one this is 21st of the first 20 and I don't like the background it's too blank too bland and I've painted it out um, I don't like a uh, hair. This obviously early attempt. I like the flowers, or the lilies, um, but that's about it. So this would be a flop <laughs> for me. Don't like a skin. Um, think she needed more work done on the beautiful um, crown. But yeah. So the only thing I like on there is like the lilies. That bit about it. <laughs> but there we go. I mean, it's not so bad that I've ripped it out, so that's one thing. <laughs> so that is Summer Nights. Oh, my pencils are getting in the way. Then what have we got? Oh, then we've got Seasons, which I think I've shown you, haven't I? Okay, so I've got two Seasons. I've got two Seasons, which you saw the first one. We've, I've shown you these pictures, haven't I? Yeah, I've shown you those. Well, in my first copy, there is a page that I've kept. I use this for practicing now if we're going to do a colour with me. This I've kept in the book, obviously, because it was a disaster and then I rescued it. Um, and I really like how it came out. But I've now got the page to do and we can do it again and I would do it better now. I've got my little crystals with some glitter stuff on it'll be the folk art stuff again um, the tree will have folk art on yeah so but I did rescue it it was appalling but I use this poor book now it's for practice for colour alongs <laughs> so that's seasons and then so that was a flop but I rescued it then I've got grains of gold but I haven't done anything in those yet which I was so kindly gifted and then I've got, I don't think I've done anything in here. Um, I think this is Forest Kingdom again, so a spare. Yeah. So, uh, it says, show us what you're working on at the moment. Um, and, well, I can't because I'm not working on anything at the moment. I have just finished that gorgeous page in Summer Nights. Um, is it Summer Nights? No, Magical Dawn, isn't it? Because that's pink as well, isn't it? Magical Dawn. Let me get that back on. So this was the page. Yeah, they're both like sort of, well, one's peach, one's pink, Lucy, whatever. <laughs> Okay, so um, I've just finished, um, come on, oh, because I've picked the spare copy up, haven't I? This is just going really well, isn't it? Um, so I've got great piles of them now, and of course it's at the bottom. Ooh. Here we are, magical toy. And I've just, obviously, just finished that one that I've just shown you. So actually looking at my Hannah, my beautiful Hannah books, I need to get back to them. But I think, I'm not working on one now, but I'm thinking that I'm definitely going to be doing one out of this book. Um, and then one of the other questions is, what illustrations do you prefer? I like these kind of ones. I do like the portraits, and I do the portraits, you've seen that. But I do like, like these, 
I don't know what you call them. Just little images, you know, like the like this candle one. Um, yeah, I do. I like those images, it's like that one. And in seasons, like the autumn wind bottles, those ones. So I'm trying to collect the postcards. Oh, and I have the postcards. Do they count? I have. I have the postcards. I'm just trying to get hold of this postcard book, but it's really difficult to find. That's a nice one. Um, yeah, so I will be colouring again in this book this month, God willing. So, alright, I won't ramble on anymore, I won't keep you. Um, this is not a tag per se, this is open to anyone to do to show their support to Hannah Carlson. If you have one Hannah Carlson book, give it a go, just show us. Just show us what you've done, why you like it, and answer as many questions as you can. Um, so yeah so it's open to anyone please please do it um, just being Beth I'd like to see you do it that would be really cool if you could um, and who else um, anyone just do, just anyone but Beth if you're watching please give it a go my darling all right sweetheart um, okay so thank you so much for watching I will post this on Instagram, 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 so, um, eventually, and, um, yeah, thank you for watching, I'll let you go, folks, we're going to be back very soon with our colour along in gentle nature, so, all right, take care, my lovely friends, I'll see you very soon, bye-bye.